Well, it's Kato's turn. Perhaps Kato is going to be a Civil War genius. Uh, Kato, how do you like your chances? Have you, have you, have you played much Sid Meier's Gettysburg? Uh, I know it's been, I know I left the disc uh, on, the, yeah. on the gaming rig. I wasn't sure if you'd availed yourself of it. Um, yeah, a little bit. You know, I played the tutorial scenarios, which is a little bit. I, uh, yeah. I read a lot of, you know, text boxes. The tutorial on its own doesn't actually explain a lot unless you go around and click. Right. <laughs> you have to, like, actually select things to, like, read about. And I've read about them in the game, yeah. Sid Meier's Gettysburg. I feel like I understand right. in general. It feels like... Simple's not the right word, but, like... There aren't too yeah, I'm many. Not sure I'm not sure that's even the wrong word. It's the, the, there aren't too many interlocking mechanics as much as like right. being able to manipulate those mechanics is what's a, what's uh, important, right? Yeah, exactly. I think it's um, I think it's a, a fairly straightforward game, but the pieces come together in a lot of different ways. Right. Um, all right. So yeah, let's, straightforward let's is a good word. Talk for into sure. a, a scenario here. Um. You know, I feel like we've seen everyone take a crack at the first part of the battle, McPherson's Hell, sure. and I am kind of curious uh, if you would like to have a go at it. Sure, absolutely. Excellent. Let's see, let's see how we do. Let's do um, that briefing. Yeah, all right. Let me just pull <laughs> up. No, we'll do historical. We'll do historical. Oh, long stream might be a little bit. It, the difficulty no, give, give me long street. Give me long street, you damn long it. Street. I want long street. None of Let these short streets at... here. <laughs> All right, we're letting them at Long Street. That's it. Here we go. We're locked in. All right. First contact, McPherson. And so, and, and this is an insight. I, I this is a thing I realized uh, later um, after I streamed to the Ren. Uh -huh. The thing about these briefings is that they're more about like setting a stage for a story you already know. If you don't know the story, the briefings don't make a ton of sense. Right. Uh, you want attack or defend? Union or Confederate? Uh, who's Union's booked to Union's win? Defense. Uh, this one is pretty close, but Union is meant to hold out. All right, let's hold out. Yeah. Let's hold out. Good morning, John. General, I'm sure glad to see you. We've been skirmishing all morning. What's the situation? The Rebs are here in force, sir. Gamble's brigade was pushed from Hare Ridge to McPherson's Ridge. Okay. They can't hold out much longer. We'll lose the high ground. Where's that infantry? We need to keep the high ground. Coming up the Emmitsburg Road. That's the first division. The Black Hat Boys. Thank God. The, the Black Rips Hat Boys. Assault. That's Harry Heat, isn't it? <laughs> he'll think he's up against two very tired cavalry brigades. Instead, he'll be hitting fresh infantry. <laughs> Poor Harry. Good job, John. Thanks, General. Okay. All right, we can, we can pause here at you the start of the battle real quick. At the end of the battle. We have to hold the hill. This is your best brigade. Cutler, coming up. There'll be some more infantry coming up. They're far uh, away, pause real quick here. Yeah. Okay, so the thing that... This game actually depends on you having a lot of foreknowledge, I think, is, is one thing about this, where it is, it is a game where you're supposed to basically know like what actually happened here. Mm -hmm. um, do you see my cursor, by the way? No. You did not see the cursor. No, do you have the, the trails on? I thought I did, yeah. Um Good portrait here, seems like me... you do not. Uh... Okay. Because well, I see my cursor. And when, you, and when you move the cursor, you don't see it. Well, I see my cursor. Okay. Do you see my... Is you, Am I moving no. your cursor? No, you're not. That's interesting. Wait, what about now? No, wait, now, now, I see, now I see you moving the cursor. Okay, yeah, and I see my cursor. See and so the stream will see the cursor because it's on my okay. screen. Perfect. But when you move um, the cursor, it doesn't move my cursor, so we're not seeing it. <laughs> right, right, right. I gotcha. I gotcha. Um, okay, so the thing the thing about this is 
the story of this part of the battle and the, this game sort of depends on all this is all these really famous moments from the battle uh, mm -hmm. where we kind of like know not just the situation, but what ends up happening historically uh, in some detail. And so like this story, like this opens on uh, the cavalry commander Buford uh, being finally like having help arrive in the form of uh, John Reynolds uh, infantry corps. Mm -hmm. But the key thing is uh, that the Confederate forces came into this thinking that they were dealing with like a light reconnaissance force. And so rather than gather up all their forces for like a massed attack, they just kind of come one by one to try to brush aside what's supposed to be really light resistance. Right. The um, arc of the scenario is hmm. that first, like these, the, the black hat boys are like two, like they're famous units in the union army. Uh, that very recently had showed they were some of the best fighting units in the army. So like these are like elite troops that are coming up. But the thing you like also know as the Union commander is that once the Confederates realize what they're up against, they do sort of hold up and they wait for reinforcements to arrive. And hmm. like they they will have tons of guys arriving on the battlefield uh, as the scenario goes along. And they're, most of them are coming from that road, the Cash Town Pike, right. uh, to the north. But they will start to fan out and sort of hit you from more directions here. Um, like, the, the arc of this battle will widen. But to start out, it will be concentrated around McPherson's Woods and McPherson's Hill. Gotcha. That's, okay. like, that's the arc of this. So the catch is um, you really do... Eventually, the Confederate numbers will get out of hand. Uh, so there's a lot of advantage to, like, just trying to absolutely ruin the first forces they show up with. Uh -huh. uh, so that, like, they are too fucked up to join a later massed attack. Um, that's that's the other kind of trick here. Um, these guys with the pennants are cavalry. Uh, they are lighter uh, artillery. They're, they're lighter infantry. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they'll hold out for a few minutes here, but... Really, these guys coming up the road, uh, Meredith and Cutler's brigades, are kind of your workhorses uh, here. So that, but like, this is like every scenario is kind of, if you're playing it purely reactively, it's not actually how the game anticipates this working because it kind of expects that unlike the characters in the briefing, you know exactly what's going on. Uh, and so you're sort of listening to all these briefings with a degree of like ironic detachment from them because you know the actual history in every case. Right. Except I don't. So <laughs> Yeah. But in nineteen ninety seven they were confident you did. Right, right, right. Um That's very interesting. I so like this hold on, I think I got this okay. North is this way. Actually, can you turn this? Yeah, this way. Here. Okay. So they're coming this from the left of the screen, basically, is the is the yeah. point. Yeah. Uh, oops, I did not mean to give an order. Alt. Um, <clears throat> and if and like what the what the thing said was that we essentially just have to hold this hill is is the how uh, the, until the timer runs out yeah is like the main yeah. thing okay yep and the ways that we hold this hill i guess is what kind of dif differentiates each each run how long? Yeah. This, the, well, and, and is these are these the only reinforcements, or is there a second wave? There's a second wave. Uh, so Cutler's okay. brigade is first, and then Meredith's is coming. Gotcha. Um, yeah. So right now they're 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 poised to march right up to the middle, which is probably a good place for them to go. Yeah. The other thing to bear in mind is in terms of like how this scenario is scored in the end, uh, and this got me. Um, mm. You can win the scenario without keeping the objective. Like if the Confederates take that. But, like, a way to put it is that is worth uh, five victory points. The way it'll be scored is it's going to be, like, 500, 500 victory points. Yeah. Each kill is also a victory point. Right. So the question is, like, it is not worth ho you holding it if it costs you, like, more than 500 men in some ways. Hmm. Uh, but likewise, it could be worth giving it up if it brings the rebels into an absolute, like, killing zone. Um, right. And you can sort of see there is kind of a killing zone there, right? Like these, the victory location, the front here. of it. If, yeah, but if they're pushing in from the from the left side here and they take it, 
Mm-hmm. It kind of the land kind of dips into a bowl on the other side there, right. and so side, if you're just yeah. yeah, and so that's that's the thing that like um, when I was playing this earlier, I tended to get really overly focused on like trying to hold the objective, and like part of this game is also. You know, part of what you're supposed to do is know when to fold them, right? Like right. it can be, it can absolutely be worth it um, to be like the objective is not worth it because I can retain more forces and do more damage if I leave. So that's another thing to bear in mind is uh, it's like it's not worth it if you're just hurling troops into the fray trying to hold it. Um, you're probably better off backing off and trying to find a better position just to like keep pressure on them right that's interesting because from what i saw in that briefing i would assume that it is hold no matter what right like the way that they say it but then that doesn't bear out at the end like you could still technically win on a on just killing more of the enemy right and this is like historically that is kind of what happened like buford was pushed off this hill um Mm. the entire action here The reason it becomes critical isn't that they held this ridge. It's that they held it for about an hour or two longer than they were really expected to. And that timetable, like the 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 rebels never really recovered uh, from that. Plus, they did so much damage to this first wave of troops uh, that two days later, some of these guys were sent on Pickett's charge um, and they were so badly damaged. The confederate commanders didn't even realize how few guys were left in some of these units uh and so they kind of overestimated how many people were they were sending into this attack because Mm. of the damage that was done here interesting okay well i would love to i would love to uh, end this holding that hill just to prove that i can (laughs) but that's all good information to know um Huh. You can I can give orders while this is paused, right? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Sick. I hadn't noticed. I, I, I'm sure you saw me click on this volley. Yeah. Thing, which I've never. I hadn't really realized in the tutorial mission. So. Yeah. This seems I odd. Used the... I wonder what doing that, a powerful one-time attack. Let me actually. You know what? Let me pull up because. I remember this being too micro-y to make it worth it, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> when a regiment is not in motion, I'm reading from the manual here, mm. uh, its halt button ter- changes to the volley button. The command allows you to order your men to hold their fire and then to open fire all at once. This is useful when the regiment is not visible to the enemy. Uh, it has an icon in a status bar. Uh, and you want them to open fire from ambush with particularly devastating effect. This command is also useful when you expect the regiment to be charged by an enemy regiment. You want the men to hold their fire until the last possible m- minute so that the volley fires are delivered at extremely close range into the faces of the charging enemy. Okay, okay. so I think this skirmish detachment, 3rd Indiana, Yeah. I think that little that little soldier icon in the lower right. This one, yeah. No, that means he's Wait. in woods cover. Oh, this one. But I think one. this means he might be invisible. Like, these guys are now, like, Interesting. concealed. Interesting. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, I do think, like, if you put them in volley fire mode... Um, they'll hold until I click it again, and then they'll fire all at once. Yeah. Right. Okay, interesting. That's good to know. I'm trying to... Okay. I think I'm actually going to... However, okay, but here's mm-hmm. but here's where it gets really dangerous. Yeah. You have to release the volley. Like, volley is like hold, right? Right. You have to click it again for them to actually deliver the volley. So if you get distracted, these guys will just watch people roll up on them without shooting. Right. Right. Um, So that's the that's the trick. Don't volley unless you're gonna just really watch them. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. But like, I think that's a really good idea because like, I'm pretty sure there's always Confederates coming at this river crossing. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. Trying yeah, to get and a you flank just like on the location. Of, yeah, so mm-hmm. if you just kind of stun them, uh, that could be really beneficial. Um, I think wheat fields are also they don't block line of sight, but a unit in a wheat field is invisible. Ah, interesting. Yeah, so it's That's transparent fun. to like line of sight, but it is like it's like brush uh, in some ways. I wonder uh, if in... this might be 
a better position for them than. Are they looking the right way? Ugh. Oh. No. Oh, just pure chaos. Oh, God. Ooh, oh, don't, God. Don't you do that mouse scroll. Don't you do that head <laughs> scroll. Okay, I fixed it. I fixed it. We're good. Look at that. Right. This will be great. Y'all. Yes. Is that the right way? Are you facing no, the I right way? No, I think that's the... Yeah, there, there we go. Yeah. Why did it do that? I don't want to... Halt. I wanted to change yeah. this slightly. Just there we go. Get them yeah. like right in the middle there. See, why is it doing that? Hey, it keeps selecting people that you don't mean to. No, not at all. Stop. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Is mm. it because my mouse is hovering somewhere? Maybe. All right. I'm moving my mouse to the center of the screen. Nice and harmless. Okay. okay. Do your thing. I'm going to click. I'm going to click. No, that's not right. Stop. Well, now he's selected. Now he's so you just selected. Left so there yeah. All right. Mm. No, this is just a weird. It's fine. I'll work around it. I'll probably pause more than normal, yeah. I guess. P? Yeah, P. Okay. Great. What tech, what uh, speed are we on? Uh, I think we're on normal, but you do not want to change that. Okay. You sure? Okay. Yeah. We saw... Remember what happened to turbo mode? I remember... I don't. I wasn't going to go full turbo. I know what happens when turbo happens. Oh, there they are. Oh, my. Okay. Hey, Cutler. Y'all don't got a double quick? Okay. I guess road is as fast as no, they, they, here, they right? do. The individual regiments do. Hold on. Pit pause. Oh. This is annoying, but I don't think I can I don't think you can issue a double quick command to the brigade, but the individual regiments, you can tell them to move on the double. Right, but this, will that leave Cutler behind? He's honestly he's on a horse, so he can catch up. Sure, okay. I'm gonna do this from the back here then. Make sure I get everyone. Hurry the fuck up, y'all. Cutler, I guess keep going. Leave leave one of these units selected, though, uh, so that we can watch what um, oh, Cutler what lost the his... double-click command does. Oh, no, they're, it's okay. they're not wearing out too fast. Yeah, not, not too bad. I'm sure there's a number going up somewhere. All right, we want to hit P real quick? Yeah, I'm trying to see... Because remember, if these the are volley actually... command is probably opportune here on the left, on the lower part of your line. Yeah, this one. Yeah. They're still hidden. Volley. I might have to unpause to give that order. Another thing I actually think I should do is take some of these new troops down here to kind of back up these forest guys. Feels like a little weak on the forest side. And I expect, yeah. I'm expecting more shit down here. This feels like it's going to be hell. <laughs> it feels like it's going to be hell. How about you? Back of the line. Why can't I click them? Please let me click them again. Now, now, a thing to note, make sure they're traveling through the shortest possible path through the forest. Because the movement rate through a forest is terrible. So, like... Angling them to go through the where that clearing sort of cuts in, that will save you probably like a minute of getting to position. Is that what this black is? Oh, I see. Yeah. When you're the black is slowed movement, so whoop. Yeah, there we see, go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Um I also want you all in fucking skirmish mode. Let's go. Right, that's faster than being in column for a, a forest. Uh, column is fastest. Column is the fastest movement. Okay. Uh, skirmish is once they get um, there. faster than line, uh, but slower than column. Okay. So in theory, they should stay in column. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so they'll go into skirmish once they arrive. Sir, reinforcements are coming up. Great. You, you volley those fools? I should. Volley. When it's flashing red, you're holding your fire. 
doesn't seem to be working. I think we're already engaged. Nope. Yeah, we're no longer they just went. invisible. Yep. <laughs> I think that was it. Was that they had actually been seen. Uh, yeah, you're right. Okay, okay. I think this group needs Sir, to actually reinforcements turn. are coming up! Uh, where are those reinforcements? P. Uh, Down here. Oh, there they are. Okay. And they're currently deploying around the seminary. So you have choices about where you deploy them. Um, um, I think I need them. They're on this road down here. State yeah. road. However, I want them to I go will warn you. this flank. Yeah? I think... So the thing is, the next things that are going to happen is the Confederates are going to have guys showing up to your north. Um, okay. This flank might get in danger but in general it's actually that field to the north of your line uh that starts to become one of the real angles for their attack um this way. so yeah uh so i would not be thinking about hitting them for like a flank roll up just yet um because actually they have brought only a small fraction of their force onto the field yet right i wonder um because these well yeah no okay i'll just go this way then my thought was like, if I can break some of this and push push that back, we can re reinforce north after, but I don't know what the timing yeah. of this is going to end up being like, right? You so, might be able to hit that timing. Um I'm curious. I'm curious enough to see. Let's 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 try it. Though they should it feels weird. It looks like they're not going to stick to the road, but they should stick to the road, right? Uh, yeah, hit hit road anyway at the end of the movement. Yeah, so Just I think that sure. will keep them near the road. But however, I probably... See that little crossroads? Uh, up here, uh, this one? Yeah, there, I might have them like at least be aiming for there. Right. Um, so, so that... Because... the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, so they road. don't divert off the road too early. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Okay. P. Wow, these, uh, these by pixels. the way, you have two commanders, um, Reynolds and Wadsworth. Both could just stand near the line and help give, guys feel give braver. People the, those yeah. bonuses? Yeah, okay. Reynolds is a great general. I think his command aura is enormous. Um, Wadsworth's just some guy. <laughs> it's just a guy. Just a dude. Okay. Let me get back in here. And position Cutler because we have yeah I like kind of have Cutler and the eighth watching towards the north in essence. Um, yeah. Um. Wow, well, you haven't committed these d regiments yet, so you actually have a chance to put them to really good effect here. I'm thinking. These are these are all yeah. cavalry. We're getting hit from okay these yeah i do partially want to see whether or not this group i guess that's kind of far and this these woods give them a lot of flank cover but we'll see how that flank works out <laughs> i think um aren't these cutlers people where's where's cutler yeah. uh where is, where is he? oh there, he's by the house he's by the house in the middle oh of God, the victory is. location okay. <laughs> Um, we might just, not road, Double line. Battle, battle line across the, Brigade this kind of area left. here. We'll right. I would say you're, you're now the marching Brigade. away from the we'll fight right. for a minute there. Um, I might have them move up a little faster than that but beyond that oh there's one thing's happening real quick see one uh, unit's leaving the woods and I you don't want them to it's... yeah this one yeah um why Did not can mean you to. detach them i'm gonna just give halt here Ooh. right wow they're their morale's kind of fucked up yeah it's curious i think it's I wonder if that's because they double quick through the woods. Let that me... might that might be it, yeah. Because I don't think they've been engaged for too long. Um, also, though, I guess we should get them into a line. Because if they these both go into line, they both get 
a, that adjacency bonus, right? Or one of them will? Uh, yeah. If one of these guys goes in a line, I think they'll have an adjacency, like a line bonus. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, when you have guys running, uh, running for an extended period, they will take morale hits uh, just from doing that. Right. Um, it didn't so, seem to be I, happening at first, but I guess the woods being extra, extra right. tough. Ugh. Ugh. Is this doing anything to y'all? Are y'all okay? Y'all seem fine. Everyone over here seems fine. Are we hidden? Can we volley? I want to try this. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be no. quite working. No. What? I think What's I up? did it. I heard someone say fire. Oh, well, they're, they're shooting now. Oof. Oh, we didn't get into that line, huh? Come over here, help them. You stand here. This is breaking apart a lot faster than I thought it would. Okay, so I think this position's done. Yeah. I would say just get the get those cannons out of there. Yeah, I gave them a fall back. Should I just like run? Yeah, that'll take too long. You gotta yeah. hit, hitch up their horses and give them a bit. Yeah. And then I would get your commanders out of there too. Sir, we don't get it back. I feel like now. Can we use this little road? Is this road even a road? It is a little road. It'll take you. You'll be you're having it hack through those woods, but you've got way more forces on that flank than they do. So you might you might just absolutely crush them there. Um, double line. What is the double good for again? Uh, line to the brigade commander. Uh, double thing. Facing as well. So it bolsters the guys in front. Uh, they'll be reassured by having friendlies at their back. Okay. Um, hmm. Also, like, just look at it. Like, it concentrates forces, right? So even right. if, like, the formations in the front begin to, like, come apart, uh, the guys behind can just filter right into the line and uh, resume the attack. Um, or you can have the guys from in the rear line sort of charge, like, launch a charge because they haven't been engaged. And... Uh, you know, so yeah, it's a, it's a way basically to apply more weight uh, into a small area. Okay, I think I like that for now. I almost wish I had bolstered on the hill with these guys instead of trying to look ahead, almost. But yeah, we don't have any more coming, do we? No, I think this is kind of, like you're kind of fighting with what you got now. Uh, you have artillery coming. Artillery will show up to help. Um, but yeah, for now, I think you're kind of in a... Uh, you're gonna have to stabilize this position a bit, right? Um, let's see. And my f feeling is, yeah, those those guys with uh, Cutler that haven't been engaged might be the heart of the new the new line. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Is this just like from being too close? Maybe. I guess. Is this not close enough, you think? I'm not sure if it's close enough That'll to be, give them so, the adjacency, right? This is the question I have here. Well, I don't think they draw I don't think they draw adjacency from guys who are in skirmish formation. Right, I'll line them here, but they're Yeah, in line. I think that might that might be just a tad far, but like not not by much. Let's um just get them right here maybe. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is fun. Look at that 3D. 
it ain't perfect. <laughs> hey, look. Oh, my God. The perspective shifts on this yeah. are wild. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That looks like a line. That yeah. looks like a line, I think. And this guy here. Is that Cutler? I think that's Cutler. You're going to come help bolster. Then I guess these will take over. Yeah. Just well, you could set up this way. Well, well, they're kind of defending, but they're defending nothing right now. You know, like that's true. We might want to. Like you, got, they they are pouring through the center. Yeah. Um, Reinforce. So, here. hey, what's up? You get to be on this now. Wheel left, wheel left, wheel left. Ugh. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm wondering if you shouldn't just hold this hill you're on. Like, from back here. McFear from like, back here. Yeah, because cause you got otherwise you're pushing trying to push uphill against guys who currently outnumber you. Yeah. Um whereas like if you set up on this hill, I do kinda wonder if you could uh, maybe start creating a bit of a kill zone. So in theory. I mean, they might not want to. Here's here's my thing: is like, will they continue to push here? Is that's is a, is the objective simply question. for them to hold the hill, and that's enough for them? Which is why I was gonna push up to this line here to try to kind of fill the yeah. gap in this line that's kind of forming here. Um, I think they will poorly, continue but to forming. push. Okay. I think I'll get them. Yeah, I'll get them in position here then to kind of. I just, I'm worried about the flank now that I know it technically exists. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it'll, it'll be a few minutes before they show up, and you'll you'll see them because the ground is pretty open over here. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, I would. I expect they will continue to push. Um. Kind of everything. Everything is now staked oh. on that flank attack, which yes. is going to be uh. If that works, <laughs> it's, you can it's gonna really be great. Warm up. Yeah. Where are the woods? There they are. Okay. Okay. Let's try. Let's see. that flank this feels like it's gonna go great <laughs> it actually does oh that's not good. uh because that i don't see anything be like anything down there Um, so if you want to put Reynolds or Wadsworth on rallying, oh, uh, Wadsworth is rallying, so he's going to try to get that ca that cannon back in action. Yeah. It's a which cannon? is good. Ooh. This fallback too? Okay. Yeah, they're gone. Shoot. Yeah, they're about to... It's fine. They've, they've done their bit. They've, yeah. They've... Well, actually, hold on. Look how few guys now they have in the north facing Cutler. Yeah. They're, they're turning... <laughs> the flank tag is actually towards... really messing them up. What if I just took him in? Yeah, just come in. Just... Yeah. Hey. Just hit him. Hey, y'all. Uh, that's the wrong angle. But bring it around. Yeah, there yeah. we go. That's yeah, a formation. That's a fucking, that's a line right there. Okay, well. They're almost down. Wait, what happened to One these? regiment routed. Is that, was that one of Cutler's? It was. Okay. That was, Yeah, those are the guys that were sort of trying to solo there for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, Mer Meredith's guys have stopped. You probably want to keep them moving. Oh shit. Yeah, just hit advance. Yep. Yeah. Good morning, General. Ooh. That was quick. I thought they would be I thought they had oh, engaged and were kinda of stuck there. 
Put a little cannon in the woods, huh? Looks looks like it. Is that a cannon? Yeah. That's fine. Recording Can't hit us general. if there's trees in the way. That's not how this game works, is it? Uh, I mean, generally it is how the game works. Oh no, Hall, what are you doing? Don't go, don't go forward. What, it, what are they the doing? Computer. What are they doing? <laughs> this is um, really unlimber weird. Unlimber here. Uh, unlimber here. Yeah, keep them, keep them all pushing. Like, Cutler's got them moving back too now. Yeah. Strong lines here. Strong lines. Where's Cutler? Here we go. Advance! Why? Cutler? That is not advancing! What are you doing? <laughs> However, if you'll pause just one moment, I yeah. think there's more Confederates arriving on the battlefield. Over here. Oh boy! <laughs> oh shit! Okay. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Look, we're retaking yep. the, the hill, damn it. <laughs> I feel like... The... Yeah? Do we reposition Meredith at this point to kind of hold, like, rebuild a line kind of along the top of this hill, right? Yeah, I think As you're we, right. As we, like, push out. Yes. The... Okay. So we're gonna well so you're gonna this. have to do this really carefully because here's the thing yeah um if you order brigade level commands like see that one those two confederate regiments they're still in that fucking forest yeah the, the, if your guys just start walking past them they will start taking flanking fire and it will like melt them um so at this and point so like they're they won't because normally you just you give them an order and then they like if they engage with an enemy they won't move like if you give an individual regiment an order, it like will auto attack when it gets close. That's at least that's what I feel like has been happening when I did the like. But like if it's at the brigade level, they will ignore that and just keep moving. Is what you're saying? Yeah. So I I feel like the brigade level, like if you if you hit advance, they will advance to contact and then resume fighting. Right. But I feel like move, they will try to move even under fire, um, and they can get really hurt doing that. So I think you're the th the trick you're gonna have to do with Meredith is i think you're right like these guys on the very left end of the line here uh -huh. you're gonna have to pivot them to start like building that line right. but then these guys in the middle have to get these fucking rebels out of these woods right like so that so you're gonna like the, like i think this is a thing where meredith now is just a mobile morale boost and you are commanding each of these regiments individually uh until things are more stable okay well in that case yeah so it's like Y'all are going to go here, and y'all are going to go at their front, and Probably don't need to get that close. Um, that's like point blank, so like you don't, like, don't have guys walk up that close. Um, not you, you. Oh my god, not you. You. <laughs> the, like here. Uh, the hitbox of some of these flags and units is, is, is yeah, a little, awkward, a little awkward, I would say. Um... I feel like that's enough, right? Uh, Gandato asks, did the Confederates walk in from the edge of the map or do they spawn in the fog of war? Uh, I feel like the Confederates mostly walk in from the edge of the map. I, I have felt sometimes like Union troops spawn in this scenario. Hmm. Uh, but pretty much everyone shows up from, from near an edge. Um... Do we have an extra one up here? Okay, gamble. You come help help these people feel better about their lives and their choices. Where are they going? They're going north, aren't they? They're coming up here now. Hey, Cutler, what you doing, my guy? <laughs> Running just away! Peace. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Reinforcements are coming up! Perfect, beautiful. The 
this left flank is not looking good. What is slow rebel dudes doing? I don't know. These ones here? Yeah, there's guys who went running off to the right. Wait, over here. What? I think they're I think they're broken. <laughs> also, why are those just mm, that's not fun. That's not great. Well, they just got here. They just, like literally five seconds ago, those guys showed up. Okay. Um, I think there's a cavalry unit with uh, that battery in the trees. I think like if you zoom in real close there, there's still some cavalry in there. Is there... Oh my god. Give me the zoom. Oh, there it is. Uh, I was looking in this corner and I could yeah, not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gambled in the way, but I can see a little, like, Conf uh, a little cavalry flag in there. Sir, you get it back. This one? No, that's Hall. No, that's the yeah, that's the artillery. It's that little yeah. This it's that little flag. Yes, 12th Illinois. Okay. Uh, yeah, they can probably chase that rebel unit out, go into skirmish, and that'll make them faster. But they can annoy those Confederates to death. Ooh, it's it's uh. Hey, it's bad up here. Uh, famously, of course, uh, this is where uh, Buford and Reynolds agree to do a spicy drop. Um, <laughs> oh my god. Hey, where are y'all going? Can color not make y'all okay? Okay, see, they're doing this. these people not shooting now they're shooting but yeah it's when you see that little um <laughs> the, the black angle bracket line, right? identifying the regiment they're engaged with uh, okay. but if you don't see the angle if you don't see the angle bracket uh then they're not fighting oh wait here yeah okay well this broke apart spectacularly where is your can you continue advancing? Nope, that's not the direction I think advance means. Okay. Stop. Ooh. Stop that. Stop. Ooh. <laughs> I was trying to go this way. Are you okay? Not yet? Almost? We're not ready to fight yet. We're not ready to fight yet. Who are these people? Oh my god. No, you detached them to chase off those rebels, which which they did. There's, no, no, I, I, I mean these... Ran off <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I meant. I think those dudes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's annoying, though. I just don't want to have to deal with... they like come back into action and they're on a flank that's bad oh my goodness oh my goodness are you okay these people seem fine yeah th this part of the battle is actually not doing too badly I mean, that's also like the magic of fighting in the woods. Like, it's very hard to do damage to guys in the woods. Um, right. But yeah, meanwhile, like, anyone in the open is just like a thrashing machine. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So this looks bad, and yeah. it is bad. <laughs> it's uh, not great. But this that, flank, has but anyone... Steven's battery up there on that hill is like firing point blank down that Confederate line. Yeah. And that's gonna be doing some nasty damage to them. Uh, I really love that battery position. Thank you. I thought getting it on this hill would help. Where is my other one though? There's a battery in here, isn't there? Maybe I was imagining that. 
No, 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 there, there was. Yeah, they're in there. Uh, that's Caleb's battery. There's Hall. Or is it Hall? There's Gamble. Okay. Hall, okay. Where's... Oh. <laughs> that's useful. Oh, they're engaged, actually. Okay, they can see this line. That's good. That's fine. Those are regular rifles, not up close ones. Right, the, the rifled artillery fires longer range shells, um, and the Napoleons fire basically buckshot or like regular cannonballs for the most part, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This, this is annoying. What's annoying? These, it's like this, like tiny little bit. Because if these, these would just leave, I could bring these up here and kind of deal with this yeah. big force. I think it's. Are you? I'm not sure. Not only are they not gonna leave. Uh, let's, no, you guys might hold out. You guys might hold out. They might. I they mean, might. that's a lot of morale damage they've taken. But... <laughs> yeah, these these are not doing too well. Oh wait. But hold on, those dudes aren't fighting. Yeah, get yeah, them get, up. Get up here. What get the up fuck? There. What are you doing? Oh, um... Are these not fighting you? That Union General to the upper right is trying to rally troops in a fire zone. Oh, that's bad. I would not feel brave if... I see. I understand yeah. now. It just sets them as the point. Yeah, the, the General is the rally point. Um, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so... Uh, that's breaking. Yeah, I think Steven's gonna gotta get out of there. Yeah. Oh, back. Damn it. Okay, yeah, they're running. <laughs> is there a regiment in here? There is. Wow. Did you see what happened at the uh, artillery batter battery there? Not here? They got charged by two Confederate regiments. Oh no. And point blank broke them. <laughs> Amazing. That that's what Napoleons do. Like right. like they are really vulnerable and the guys can be shot down with like rifle fire. But like those point blank shots they launch um will just like break the spirit of an infantry regiment uh, as it charges. Amazing. Are y'all okay? Are y'all okay? Do you need to go over here and be happy again? They're not going to rally under Cutler, I think, because they're a different formation. Oh, uh, okay. Oops. Um, I believe they would rally with uh, Reynolds. Where's, where's um, Reynolds? Or Gamble. I think Reynolds where's might be the bigger, uh, by the big cannon. Okay, yep. yeah, yeah. What are you doing over here? This is bad. That's oh, if bad. you click on the clock in the lower right, you can see what the current score is. Not great. No, no, <laughs> no. But you know, probably not. No. 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 Probably not. No. No. Definitely not. How is your left flank doing here? Uh, this guy's at the edge of the line. Uh, doesn't, look, doesn't look like they're gonna win. It no. seems like they're slowly losing. I gave them the fall back order to try to keep them from completely routing, but they seem to be too engaged to run away. And these little two, the seventh Wisconsin, yeah, they're not doing shit. What the fuck? The Fifty-six pen. You got to, you guys got to get out there and fight. What are they doing? Fill the snowman. If I was running across the field and someone fired a shotgun shell the size of a two-liter at me, I would simply turn around and go home. Yep. Basically it. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, they finally broke. Okay. That flank didn't work out. I think we've probably seen enough here. <laughs> we probably can see the scenario. Yeah, probably. Yeah. 
if you go how to the upper it, left. How long, how long does this uh, end at one to one thirty? Yeah, right now it's it's like. And we don't get any other reinforcements at this point. Like that's it. We've gotten everything we're gonna get this first one. Yeah, that's yeah. Um, so what I would say is I would go to the upper left here, and I would concede defeat. Oh, okay. Admit defeat. I, I wanted to see if a last second push could have taken this, because I want to know what this means. In my mind, the way that the, the briefings happen, the little asterisk means actually if you had caught that you would have technically won. Even if the numbers are it. totally fucked. Does it say anything about asterisks in the manual? Asterisk. At 1.30 we're getting kicked out for a paintball game. <laughs> yeah, that's when that's when it finishes. <laughs> Uh, here, no, it doesn't, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, let me go to the index here of the manual. Is there like a, explaining the, explaining the, um, the score screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Section? Yeah. Uh. Bum, 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 bum. Let's pick out another. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Okay. Um. Our most effective unit was the 42nd Mississippi. Well, that was an hour. That was an effective. hour. No. No. Pettigrew's no. brigade. Uh, yeah, it's. Damn. All right. So let's go to uh, main menu again. Here. It's very funny. Um seeing davis's name here because i i went to jefferson davis middle school well that's a different davis jefferson davis was not a gettysburg no okay <laughs> I no, just he, like... was, he was busy being like supreme Assumed. warlord of the confederacy oh, okay sure um no Je jeff davis was like a politician who always really wanted to be like a high-ranking general and i think served in the mexican american war um and so to an extent when the civil war broke out and he got appointed president of the confederacy he was like all right here we go <laughs> um and for good and for ill like was kind of the architect of that war um mm -hmm. but wasn't and like very mixed bag yeah wasn't a, was it ever on the battlefield or was at other battles not in that battle. Not no. not in the Civil War. He he. I don't think saw a battlefield after uh, like the Mexican American War. Right. Um. All right. So let's play a scenario here. Um. Have can we... we scroll down? I'm just gonna. I was gonna ask. Have we seen the end of this at all on mm. stream yet? We have. Oh right? boy. Uh. So the end of this would be up, up, up. It would be. Pickett's Charge. There we go. High watermark. Pickett's Charge. I would play as the Union if you just want to see a map. Like, this is a good opportunity for you to just massacre some Confederates. <laughs> Great. Wait, which one? Okay. <laughs> How are things on your front, General Hancock? All quiet, sir. My men and guns are in position. Very well. If Lee attacks today, it will be on your front. How so? My men occupy a formidable position. Because he has made attacks on both our flanks and failed. If he concludes to try it again, it will be on our center. I hope you are correct, sir. For he must cross almost a mile of open ground, and we will give him a warm reception. Is that, is that the thing that was in you that must clip? Hold this location at the yes. end of open ground. <laughs> yeah. This is your best brigade. Amazing. The, the thing that be some more artillery arriving soon is difficult to represent about how fucked this charge is, though, is like, okay, that's a bad enough position, right? 
Like, that's a lot of Union troops. Right. But the issue is that the entire, like, position they're marching from, like, from uh, these woods all the way across the field. Oh, my Yeah, God. see, all those guns in the south that aren't even under control, they're not part of this battle as far as you're concerned. Right. Are just going to open up no matter what. Um, and so, like, this charge is attacking people they can't even deal with. I'm genuinely not sure you need to move troops. I was going to say, like, all your guys we, we just, they just fucking little, like, hold, right? As soon as they see them, Maybe the battery in the front, you have them fall back. Uh, do yes. a retreat on recoil thing, but yeah. This feels, like, too close. I don't know. Oh, and those guys with the uh, black and white flags right behind your line? Yeah. That's, if things start to look a little dicey, yeah, you can, you can take a victory point hit. I see. In order to activate that brigade. I must have these troops. Interesting. I will say, like, it would be... Imagine if you got those guys in the woods at the south, the south edge of this uh, map here. Yeah. Down here. Just, just flank the entire attack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, is this the entire fucking... Oh, my God. Now look at this. That's fucking war gaming. <laughs> it feels like all the other battles in this are at a much smaller scale. Oh god, something's gone wrong up here. Okay, no, that those aren't people I can even control. Never mind. They're just moving around, I guess. Yeah, this is bonkers. I'm actually. <laughs> and here's is... the thing. There's so many dudes here. I'm yeah. actually getting a little worried. Uh, that's a lot of. That's a lot of. Oh no. I might start activating. Well. Hold well. On. Hold on. Yeah, you know, let's see how it plays out. Yeah, look, at, this seems okay. This seems oh, okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. This seems fine. This seems. We're okay. Everyone's engaged. No one's scared yet. Is that true? Oh, they're a little scared. What is this flag bonus? Is that the general? Uh, there's a commander bonus. Okay. So there's a, I think that means like there's a high high rank commander and a low ranking commander. Uh, All right. Nearby. Well, the front of the line feels like it's breaking a little bit, just a little bit. It's just a little retreat. Just a little retreat as a treat. <laughs> Uh, you know, if you wait till you know you need them, it might really be too late. Wait, wait, who's that? Who's Cemetery standard? Ridge. Where's that? Cemetery You're on Cemetery Hill. Ridge, so where's standard? Uh, where? Where the fuck? Wait. Did you do that? Like, leaders, standard. There we go. Standard. Oh, they're just here. Oh, did they just get activated? I guess so. That's okay. a lot. That's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. Uh, okay, Given... was it standard? Okay, so I do know that in this battle, at some point, mm. a commander's job was to hold the line. Realizes if I push out and swing the formation, I flank their entire attack. Um, right. And like that's where things started to get really fucked up for the uh, Confederates. So if we can, um, but push, I feel like push out. If on standard this can location. clear those dudes out, uh, then you can just start rolling up the attack. Is this that right? Because then it'll they'll stop to engage. And right, then... but right now they're still, I think, entrenched. Right. So I might not advance yet until okay. those guys like melt. <laughs> so just waiting for those to break first. This is a, this is a situation up here. Look at this. Yeah, I'm a little so. Look, we've already got. Look at that. Body. Oh yeah, Smythe needs to. He needs to maybe come back. <laughs> he needs to maybe not be out here. Yeah, because he could like. You gotta inspire. You can't inspire the troops if you're just dead in the ditch. Yeah. Yeah, his first uh, one of his fucking regiments already oh, broke. Boy, that's that's a lot. It's so many. These people haven't been engaged yet, though. 
down here. No, no, it's like a defense in depth. So like it's yeah, the like this is kind of the issue. The Confederates have like layers of Union positions to peel back. I feel like I'm gonna make um, these uh batteries fall back a bit so that we can pull this line back here and line them up with the rest of the line. Retreat by recoil. Fall back. You're just gonna move. You're just gonna move back. Yeah. Sir. Come back here. Okay. Uh, what's really funny is that I would have sworn these were pixel, this was pixel art until I zoomed in once and I'm like, oh, these are little fake, fake 3D. This is fake 3D, I love this. Look at this little 3D horse. Oh my God. Aha! Haha, <laughs> look at them. That's right, get back. I can't remember, so I know that like, and people can hear us talk to Greg Furch about this yes. uh, on the podcast that may have already gone up, but like, parts of this are pixel art. Parts of, like, the 3D train overlay is, like, so sort of what new they, tech this time. Uh, what they did was the 3D, this, these, uh, they look like 3D models because they yeah, made remar 3D remarkably models. Remarkably the magic of sprites, yeah. And they just, like, made the sprites, right? Yeah, but yeah. they made 3D models that they like traced over essentially to make not trace, but you know what I mean. Yeah. They like turned into sprites. That's why it's like this looks like a 3D model because they did make it, but in game, sprites are good. It's just a sprite. Uh, you know, Morning, General. it's not an actual 3D image. Routing. Uh, Kato. What? What? North. North. Morning, North. Oh my God. Hey, Hold you on. know those guys you haven't activated? Yeah, it might be time for, to activate them. Yeah, I would say bring that entire Reporting, General. brigade up. Put them right in the, Yeah, yeah, you gotta... Double yep, yep. yep. <laughs> you can't have this shit. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Also, wait. Why did this... I thought I told them to back off, and now they're further out? What happened here? What? Isn't this where I told them to back off? Mm. I told someone to fall back. Right around here. You... I'll be honest, it's been very chaotic here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I think uh, the... Storm Gamer says it's a different brigade. Smith was the one you told to fall back. Not where Webb. is Smith? Smith. Oh, Smith was the one. Okay, that is yeah. what happened here. Smith fucked up. You fucked up, Smith. Yeah. Ah, shit. Yeah, we'll blame him for it. Ah, shit. Look, they just have to stand in a place and shoot a gun. <laughs> That's... If your boys get driven back to the cemetery, that could end up being really convenient for the burial details. <laughs> God, no. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, they're all just hanging out over here already. Is this... Are they rallying? Is this what's happening over here? Yeah, okay. Ugh. Um, do we need the second group? You know? I don't know. I mean, it's it's kind of so. It, the funny thing is, the north is all fucked up right now. Yeah. Uh, the southern end of your line seems like it's holding pretty well. Yeah. This might be enough. This might be enough. Let's see. Be. Yeah. Look, some of those dudes are melt. Oh well. Did they take one of your cannons? Did they steal cannons? That happens. Oh, shit. Well, it feels like these Napoleons move the line back a little bit. Uh, there's no robot. God asks, Morning, is there any fog of war in this game? Are we up in a hot air balloon? There's fog of war. Um, so, like, we have unrestricted, like, view of the battlefield, but we don't know what's on it unless there's line of sight. Yeah. You can't okay, actually... maybe you need those guys for, like, uh, maybe yeah, Baxter maybe, needs maybe to... Yeah, maybe we need these guys. Maybe, Baxter, uh, you need we're to... just gonna, you know... Here. Maybe that's how you make the scenario interesting for the Confederates, is like, can you just make the Union player commit enough, enough VPs to holding the line? Right. That, like, even though your charge gets wrecked, you still, like, win on points. <laughs> uh, no, this is fine. These people are holding. Oh, boy. Okay, what are y'all doing? Huh. 
I wish I could move these people down. I wish I could move these people down. They're okay though. Like they're, they're like all these guys are walking into like a ball, right? Like yeah. they're taking fire from every side now. Yeah. I'll get them fire off. Feels like y'all aren't doing anything. Yeah, hey, the 125th New York, get the fuck up. What the fuck is what, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Y'all are fresh too. What are you what are you been standing around for? Oh my god. Okay. This seems to have stabilized a little bit. Yeah. Thanks to those extra <laughs> fucking units. Uh, what's... Who's our big... I got your big dude. Okay. I've noticed when you click the big dude, you, you see all the, like, battle lines. All the, like, points yeah. of attack, which is useful, I feel like. Like, now I know these people aren't doing anything. Hey. Just move up a tiny bit. Just move up a tiny bit. Ziegler's Grove. Where the fuck is Ziegler's Grove? Did you ca did you happen to catch who that was? Oh my god. No, but uh, it was knocking. Sir, reinforcements are coming up. Smith. Uh, oh, it's all these dudes in the north. All these dudes in the north. Smith are coming online. Oh hey. So now you have command. Great. Nope, that's not advancing. Nope. <laughs> that's not what? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. Oh my god. You okay? They're gonna turn around again. Stop turning around, you fucks. Oh man. Oh gosh. Oh gee. What there the we fuck? go. Why? What is happening up here? I do not know why they keep trying to turn the wrong direction, but oh boy. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh okay. boy. I think I think they're okay now. Okay. You going in? Same with you. Protect those fucking batteries. Let's go. Hey, uh, are these attacking? Oh, no, these no, are they're, black. Those are black. They're, they're fighting, though. Um, That's good. What is happening here at Lester House? Not good. Not good is happening. Oh, oh no. Is it, they're not Hancock fucking... Is... What are you doing? Oh, no. Get up here. Here, here, here. He's all broken down here? Yeah, okay. Damn, they took the fucking house. Wow. All gone to hell. Hold on, but look, they melted in the south. Yeah. You can start rolling this is them finally, off. Finally, yeah. Uh, 
The only problem is going to be there's so much Confederate artillery firing like directly into your flank that I do wonder if this uh, up roll here. up is just going to eat too much fire. Down here, because uh, of this. I mean, it's it is now maybe your best chance. Yeah, because. However, you got that one last brigade you haven't committed. Oh my god. You'd send them north <laughs> to the angle. Report, yeah. General. Put a little backbone Going up to there. the fucking angle. Ooh, not maneuver column. <laughs> that seems... Well, it's kind of like that. There, yeah, it seems good. <laughs> Oh no, oh no. Are y'all are y'all fighting? What's going on over here? Y'all are engaged. Y'all aren't though. Are y'all fighting? Y'all are fighting. Y'all are resting, I guess. Oh boy, yeah. Wait, what happened to Smith's whole brigade? Remember all those dudes that were with Smith? I don't know. Nobody oh knows. lord. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. There they oh, are. Shit. They're still there. They're still there. They just fell back in a way. Oh, they're gonna hit. Yeah. So okay. So one, because these guys are trying to move laterally across the line, I think they're getting utterly shredded. Wait, these? Yeah, like, see, they're turned, they're marching in a line uh, with their flank to the enemy, and they are That's... not loving it. Oh, God. <laughs> well, they're being focused they're... hard. <laughs> they are, um, uh... but, you know, once they get in this position, you know, they might I be think, fine. Might I think be they'll fine. be fine. I think it was How's worth it. I was the south looking. Not great. You know? Though, man. You know, I oh, think, uh, no, Standard's rolling up. Well, they're coming up from behind Standard, but maybe that's... Who, yeah, that dude behind Standard. Uh, with who... This one? What's it, Biddle? Biddle? Maybe have him fend off those guys making a, another attempt. Yeah. Well, while Standard here. keeps pushing up. Yeah. yeah. No, this is all, you know, this is all... This is exactly how it happened. Yeah, this is, <laughs> no, this is exactly it. Um, everyone knows that, um... Pickett's charge broke through to Harrisburg. <laughs> Uh, but then they Shit. got him. <laughs> but then they were... Oh, once, once Pickett and Robert E. Lee had occupied Washington, that proved to be the trap. Maybe, okay, maybe well. Hancock should ro roam behind the line and like get some of these guys feeling better about themselves, you know? Yeah. Come over here. And be like, hey. Feel better about yourself. Are they gonna try to charge this woods? I think the fact that they're in woods is the only reason these people haven't broken yet. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, hands down. Hands down. <laughs> What are you doing? You're attacking. Are you attacking? Hey, Woodruff, un unlimber. Unlimber. Get those guns out. Yeah, come on, dude. Shoot them. Are they not shooting either? Are they still? Okay. There we go. And now that battery. Make sure they don't go anywhere silly. Yeah, that seems good. That seems fine. Make sure to unlimber when you get there. Now, if only I could have control of these other ones. This feels like a bad hole to have here. Oh, oh, they broke. I They're would gone. agree, especially now the Confederates seem to be moving toward it. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh, boy. Oh, gee. Uh, look at this. Hold on, that's not right. Oh. That's not right, that's not right, that's not right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. What are y'all doing back here? Get up. Get up. I'm 
advance. We're gonna pinch him. It's gonna be great. Yeah. I believe in you. <laughs> Biddle can I be don't. fighting more. <laughs> Look at this. What is this? How did, uh, the, how did it? How did it work? How did it's the? It's a big trap. How did the? How did it work? How did the charge work? Okay, when historically well, the charge isn't supposed to work. This histor- okay, so they've fudged a lot in this scenario, like... <laughs> the Confederates did not arrive this concentrated. Um, like, the charge kind of got fucked up en route by all the Union artillery. Um... Oh, fuck. Shit. So, like, there's a lot of, like, this is, like, best case scenario for what Pickett's Charge could have been for the Confederates. Um, that just, like, didn't happen in reality. Boy, wow! Wow. Huh. Huh. But it'll take the place. Huh. Take the, take the, take the place here. Really? Y'all can rally over here. I mean... Now, you did want the higher difficulty level. Okay, well, you know... <laughs> is that what it does? Is this just make them stronger? Is that how difficulty is? Or is it like a map? Is it numbers? Is it a numbers game? Oh, shit. So, oh, fuck. a thing that... Oh, um, where are y'all going? Oof. Oof. Morning, General. Okay, uh, well. So. I think this is done. General. Pick his charge worked. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh. Oh my god. What the fuck? That score. Oh dear. Yeah, oh no, dear. it's bad. It's, uh, wait, what was it again? Jesus. Because you spent all that money on the reinforcements that you got killed. Yeah. Uh, I would have been winning otherwise. Or would I have? Because the reinforcements are kind of useful for that. Well, it's 12,000 to 5,600. Now, if so we take if back... Look at that, though. If we take back... Because the casualty score... like We're winning in the casual, table. If, we're, if we, like, push them out with this flank at the bottom that absolutely just broke... Did, did it just break? Kind of. General. General Costa was wounded. Shit. Hey, Bill, what are you doing? Go with your men. That's not. No. Here. Never mind. Stop. Stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Just fight them. <laughs> God damn it. Why don't you go this way? I mean, they're just gonna be. It's fine. General. So I think one of the things that's really getting your guys melted is when you're issuing some of these move orders. Yeah. Your guys are trying to like march to that location, but if in that process they turn their flank and they get shot up, they take like four times the morale hit that they would if they were facing head on. Um, and so I think that's contributing to some of these like rapid meltdowns uh, is that as you're trying to like stabilize the line, you've got formations that are turning in weird ways. And just like taking all the like max morale damage uh, that they can. Um, I think we can probably concede defeat on this one. Okay. So. I feel like I can get this back though. Yeah. Look, they're leaving this undefended. I could just <laughs> zoom through the middle and take those victory points and win. Uh, you can't expect a back door the Civil War. Can't you? you it can't. feels like you can. Uh, commit defeat. We should have just hit claim to victory and see what it tells me. But yeah, casualty wise, it wasn't too bad. We we're kind of the same. It should have been better though, right? Right. Because they're running over open field. Did yeah, I, like, I mean, need so to give again, them an start, attack? They oh, start the scenario for, with Confederates so close that, like, they don't. Like, the, the, like basically, the, the reason the attack falls apart so quickly is. 
they take so much damage en route that like they're kind of already tatters uh, by the time they hit the line. Whereas here, they hit the line with like full force. Wait, why does um, it say variant? Yeah, that's that's kind of weird too. I guess the variant is that it worked. Um, the other thing that is, and I think historical gamers pointed this out. All that Confederate artillery that was like just demolishing your guys supporting this attack, that didn't like the 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 Confederate artillery couldn't really take part in the attack. Huh. Uh, because they'd shot most of their ammo off. Uh, and also they had such bad visibility of the Union position that they couldn't really see what they were supposed to be aiming at. So, like, there's a few assumptions this game makes to make the scenario, like, interesting that are just not in play. I, I want to show you a different game. Uh, yeah. Something that maybe is a little... I want to see what... Is this different? No, that's the only pickets charge on the list, right? Yeah, I, I guess variant so. just means that it, 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 it ended differently. Okay. All um, right, so. All right, go I'm going to exit, and, and then I'm going to launch us straight into another game, but it's not going to be, like, as low res. Great. Sounds okay. good. You're good to go. Let's do it. All right. Swap over. So, this was made by... Uh, Game Labs, uh, but specifically, this is from a designer, uh, Nick Tomatis, I want to say, aka Darth Maul in the Total War community, um, who made these, like, really lavish and detailed Total Realism mods for Total War, um, that, like, always tried to fix what he thought was sort of wrong with those games. And I think eventually he annoyed the shit out of Creative Assembly, but, uh, <laughs> however... When he went and did his own thing, uh, this was his sort of first time out working with game labs and such. Um, and this is his approach. Uh, and you can sort of see there's gonna be traces of, Getty, of Sid Meier's Gettysburg in this. Mm -hmm. um, like a lot of traces, but also, the only way I can describe it is it's very, iPad influenced in some ways, you'll, you'll see. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Arriving at Gettysburg. Yeah, so... Hey, this, same, is, this seems bad. <laughs> we did this scenario earlier, mm -hmm. uh, but the approach they take in this game specifically, instead of moving individual regiments, you move... Your smallest unit is the brigade okay. uh, that you can move around. And also, these scenarios are much more like, rather than it being just the opening part of the battle where like Buford is relieved by those two brigades of Union infantry. Here, this scenario will take up like most of that day at Gettysburg. And so the thing about this is there's way more ebb and flow. Like mm. you can be driven all the way off McPherson's Ridge, all the way back onto some of the other hills and then regain ground. So there's, there's way more like uh, back and forth here. The catch is, the way it's paced, the armies kind of move like they're on ice skates, is the only way I can put it. You'll, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> what? But here's here's the thing I will, I will tell you. Mm -hmm. um, here's how you give movement orders real quick. You draw them. Whoa. Yo. All right, you still got mouse control, right? Yeah, I do. I, I mean, I can. I yeah, can't. all right. Yeah. So just fuck around with these dudes. Oh, great. Where'd they go? Oh, look at them! Look at that! Horses move fast. Whoa, whoa. Now, you can sort of see in the upper left, you've got morale, condition, cover. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, this is ultra-wide, so is that fucked up the stream? I didn't think that. It's, it's the, the... It's a little... weird. It's not too yeah. bad. Okay. Uh, but anyway, so like cover is important. It's how much, how effective or hits going to be as your guys oh, no. take fire. Oh no! Oh Jesus! They'll just run. They'll just, just let them run. Yeah. Oh, well, these are already engaged. Interesting. Yeah, they don't. They're trying to move, but they are they are fighting. Um. What if I do this? 
so there is a bit of like RTS-ish kiting here too. Like look at Davis's entire brigade now is chasing cavalry around the map for no good reason. Like right. zero good reason. Right. Uh, but you can sort of game the AI that way. Um, the one thing this 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 iteration of this game is really bad at is the map is gorgeous. Uh-huh. Uh, but elevation is not as clear always as it should be, and, like, line of sight can be really tough. And so usually the best way to tell if, um... And I will say this. This game has a firm belief, and it's pretty much historically accurate, that the Union's real competitive advantage was their artillery, um, that their gunners were just way better, and they had more of it. Mm -hmm. And so, like... You're, if you see in the upper left, you see the little skulls for how many guys have died, and then the crosshairs for how many kills they've got. Uh -huh. Those batteries, if well positioned, are good for hundreds of kills. Oh my god. Um, a well sided battery that fights for the majority of the day can, like, burn through multiple brigades. In this game. That's wild. What? What is this? I would tell those guys, so you have, in the lower right, you have the fallback command. I would just have them continuing to fall back. This one. Um, rather than trying, yeah, because those are, those are light skirmishers. Oh, and you have a message. The Iron Brigade is here. If you click on that message, Boop. you'll snap to where the Iron Brigade is. Oh, hey. And see now, those are those two brigades we had, but now there's only two units that you have to worry about control. Right. Do we know where they're going? I guess not. What is this? Is this like influence? That is Reynolds. That is Reynolds, and that's his command aura. Oh, nice. Okay, that's pretty wide. It's huge. Reynolds. <sighs> Reynolds is like regarded as an elite commander. Um, the unfortunate thing is he got killed on the first day. Um, probably doing something a lot like what he's doing right now, which is riding straight into the Confederates. Uh, but anyway, you can start seeing out. McPherson's Ridge isn't even a victory location we really need to worry about. Right. Like, it's there, but that's not the objective here. Lutheran Seminary is the most valuable. Oak Ridge to the north there is also key. And right now, it's very threatened by Confederate. A thousand, yeah. These slow down. How can we... Does it automatically... Units get really sluggish in this game. I think, like, partly because they're when they start going over broken ground, uh, the penalties, like, stack up really fast. Uh, but there are times where it just feels like dudes are not moving uh, for shit. The one thing is, like, when these, like, automatically start coming in here, yeah. I'm like, where are they... Where's their orders to... St like, where... How far are they headed? Because I don't know if I should just let them go. No, you shouldn't let them go. I because I also don't know where they're headed. Um, <laughs> they're like they should tell you. Like they, like in the other game, you see like their little. When you click on them, you see their movement point. Here, that's not what's, what's going on. Um, so here's the thing: because you're ultra wide, you're at a higher resolution, and the pixels are hard to read on these buttons down here. Actually, hang on, hang on. You know what? Can yeah. I? Let me just. <laughs> Let me just see if I can go back to the menu and put us in a window. Yeah. You know? Just do a 1080 window. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's not be. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I have a 1440. Pixel. That's fine. That's perfect. There we go. Now it's full screen on my side. That's great. All right. Now I can read this text. All right, there you are. Great. I love to be able to zoom in and out with the fucking wheel. <laughs> All these modern conveniences. This feels, look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is kind of great. <laughs> yeah, and also like, we talk about how, um, Sid Meier's Gettysburg is sort of inspired by like the way some of those like history books looked right. um, with like beautiful like hand illustrated maps. But like this is literally that. This is not like inspired by that. That like that's that's the game. That's the aesthetic. 
Uh, though I do think the way the buildings are sort of foreshortened, it totally looks like those Chamber of Commerce maps you see it, like hanging up at like <laughs> yeah. gas stations. No, totally. Of, like where the local restaurants are. Do you think these skirmishes are good for a flank on this line here? On yes. the Davis line? Yes. Uh, however, so the morale's thirteen percent. You might want to like uh, maybe move them up to that orchard at the Haggy Farm, whatever, right and yeah. have them hang loose while they uh, get their shit together. Morale recovers quickly. Okay. Condition recovers slowly. Condition is like how much ammo do they got? Um, how exhausted are they? Uh, so like morale is the really squishy thing mm -hmm. uh, that contributes to like when the uh -oh. guys sort of scurry around. Um, That's not good. It isn't. It isn't. Uh, also, what's going off to the far left there? Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Where are y'all going? However, more Union infantry coming up. Yeah. Double Days Division. Okay. Maybe they headed. should go straight over to Lutheran Seminary. And help? I would say not even... Fuck it. Make them come to you. Like, look at... You got... You got... Forested Rocky Hills on Lutheran Seminary. Sorry, I'm like you not put troops in that, right here. they will be immortal. Yeah, like, like one <laughs> one brigade there will will effectively live forever. So it looks like they're on. They're like in columns here. Yeah. But then as soon as I give them an order, they they move out into a line. Yeah. Is there a way to? So it's a little frustrating. Basically, big movement orders they will shake back out into um column. Uh -huh. But the minute the game decides this is like local maneuvering, they will fall down into lines and slow way the fuck down. Which is another thing that makes troops really hard to handle in this game. Um, right. It can, like, controlling this game can be very fun. Is Stevens getting shots off? They aren't. This is a battery, right? I want to try to get them up on this hill. Can I get them, like, is this enough? It might be. I just don't know how... Okay, want to see something completely unhelpful? Like, just the least helpful thing in the world? What's up? <laughs> in response to complaints that elevation was hard to read in this, read in this game, right? Uh -huh. They patched in this feature. Sick! Sick, 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 Topo sick, sick. lines, baby. But <laughs> yeah. they're not... There's no contrast. And so <laughs> it's all, like, identical topo lines. I get it. I get it. This part is higher than this part. Yeah. That makes sense to me. Okay, like now we can see. But like, things. Jesus, look, click on Reynolds' battery real quick. I'm, I'm really curious what they're doing. Where, where are they? They're the guys in the middle of that road there. Yeah. Okay, they only killed 88 people. 88. Um. Yeah, but yeah, they're going. They've got this whole ridge going, yeah. kind of like on lock. However, Pender's three brigades are coming up. Oh if you click God. that notification on the right, you'll see where they're showing up. Okay, they're still uh, coming in from the west. Uh, Okay. All right. Do you even get, want to hold this? If you can get the Iron Brigade into McPherson's woods there, if they can get into those trees, they'll be very hard to kill. Okay. Like this, maybe? And you give them a run command, they will do the double quick, um, which might be worth it given run. how... Run. Yeah. Their morale isn't going up. What's? Well, who is? Who, De who these, do we have selected? These, these are Devon's skirmishers. Where I wanted to flank them, put them on yeah. a flank up here, but then... What other conditions? I, I don't know why their morale isn't going up. Yeah. Are they just too hurt? They get too know. fucked up? Oh, are they still under fire? Yes, they are. They're, they're still taking losses. Jesus. But with Baxter's <laughs> brigade showing up there, where's... Baxter going. Baxter should engage Heath skirmishers and and, and yeah. yeah, move them along a little. Oh man, Iron oh. Brigade is in deep. They're kind of in this. They're kind of in there though. Eighteen. That's bad. Oh boy. Fifty-six. What if? What if sneaky? Well, that's an artillery brigade, bro. Is it? Ah, that's shit. Right, yeah, Caliph's battery. Yeah, you don't want Caliph. Caliph trying to do that. I put Caliph maybe with the. With the rest of the artillery somewhere. Well, we've got kind of these up here. Is this a, is this a hill? Is this a hill? <laughs> <laughs> I 
Are you fight? Are you firing? I'm gonna put y'all on this. This is a hill. This is definitely a hill, right? Yeah. Whoop. Did it, I didn't mean to move them. Are they good? They're good. They're okay. Are these engaged? Yeah, right? Yeah, okay. These still aren't healing any any morale. Uh, maybe if you move Buford over to them, they'll feel better about life, but I, yeah. I, I mean, at a certain point, you know, maybe just push them in. Where is Buford? Get them on a oh, flank Buford's somewhere where they don't have to do too much, but... Because, like, this this seems easy. Yeah, it does. That seems that seems good. This is rough. This is bad. But we're holding? Look, Iron Brigade is fucking fine with this. Somehow. Yeah, I, I, here's the weird thing. It looks rough, but they seem to be thriving. <laughs> they're built different. Yeah, they're just built different. Here's the thing. Should you maybe push color further north? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, like, Get on, get them on the flank of this this advancing line. Yeah, um, I don't think you have to advance that far forward because that would be taking them out of the woods. Oh, um, okay. Like, like try stay in them woods, but yeah, like the the cover value is uh, pretty decisive. Oh wow, he's skirmishers breaking, and now Baxter's gonna give it to Lane. Nice. Oh, oh, are you okay? Are you okay? Okay, they they held. Oh, they're, these skirmishers are now engaged. What's, what, are the, what are the artillery firing at the south? Down here? Oh, there's a line here, huh? Who's this? Hmm. Honestly, they can come to us. Yeah. We got this. We got these woods. This feels like the ridge to kind of hold. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Iron yeah, Brigade and I would say still like, fine, I would which is try wild. to rescue the Iron Brigade. Yeah, like the Iron Brigade's them... doing work. Yeah, maybe fall back then. Just fall back. No, right? no just leave them. Leave just them. leave them. Just leave them. Okay. They get fucked up if they run. This is one of those things where like they're in a good position. They can't leave it. They're gonna have to fight until they're dead. But <laughs> they're gonna take a lot of people with them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Steven, Although, zoom so in. Are, are they shooting? Are they bugged? I don't. I think they're shooting. They're. They're. They've got. I don't see shit. They're getting kills, but they don't seem to be firing now. Are they bugged? Okay. Oh. All right. Hit halt. Hit hold. Halt. And then. Uh, oh my God! What is happening? <laughs> now they're reforming the line, but I think they are fighting. Oh, if you uh, right now run is highlighted. Every command they try to do will be run. Just, yeah, unclick that. Yeah, they look glitched as hell. What are they doing now? All right, click charge uh, just to see if it'll do anything. Well, I mean, they will. They're they're charging. <laughs> oh, no. They're engaged with this part of the line. It looks like. Ooh, that looks all kinds of. So. What is yeah, happening? Whole... <laughs> this is where the game doesn't. They are more bugged than I've ever seen them, though. Why are there still 1,433 of them? Uh, I don't know. Is it because Buford's here? No. Like, they're, they're oh, okay. surrounded we're losing people by now. Confederate. Now we're no, losing no, people. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> no, they're losing morale, though. Are they just that good? They're just that no. elite? <laughs> no. This is... This is this thing is is completely busted now. This is fascinating. <laughs> Amazing. How's how's this going up here? This seems fine. Pretty well. Yeah, this seems fine. This is just hell here. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. No, 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 no. I still like Just do your thing. Hold on, did the Iron Brigade finally break? They might have. 
their morale's hit, their condition's down, something has happened to them. But they're not what, dying. What is... What is... What is this? What is this dance they're doing? <laughs> oh, this is... That's bad. Hey, Biddle. Biddle. Uh, it is true. At the Battle of Gettysburg, um... Once the Iron Brigade charged Davis, uh, Kung Fu fighting began to play. <laughs> and they dance battled for possession of McPherson's Ridge. Um, and no lives were lost. It was a beautiful moment. Immortalized in a Don Troiani painting. They haven't broken yet. Uh, they're not going to. They're, the, the game is broken. The game <laughs> is broken before they would break. Is it because we changed the... I kind of wonder, is it because we <laughs> changed the resolution and like reloaded? Y'all seem great. Y'all seem great. You're just fine. They're just fine. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, They're broken. The on? Iron Brigade is broken. But look! look Multiple units now are broken. Archer's Archer's brigade has has punched through. How? And that's not, dude. This is none of this is supposed to happen. This game <laughs> is like completely imploding. Do we want to restart? No. Okay. Because <laughs> I can show you something even better. All right, all right. Yeah, we can move on to the next thing. <laughs> so this was, as you may have picked up, this was sort of the V one point sure. attempt at at sure. making this game. Now I think. Ultimate General Gettysburg has a lot to recommend it. Um, let me... Actually, let me load up... Oh, I'd lost my other save. Oh, well. Um, you fight the, the whole battle in these large-scale scenarios. There's a few different, like, forks it can go in, depending on how one scenario uh, goes. Um, for the follow-up game, unfortunately, mm -hmm. rather than making Ultimate General, like, Antietam, for instance, they made... Ultimate General Civil War. The entire fucking the entire Civil War, fucking war in one game. <laughs> and I think that was a a misguided decision because like Civil War battles, like they are so big that like they're kind of they're they're assemblies of smaller little engagements, right? This is right. kind of what like the way Sid Meier's Gettysburg is built. Um here, the approach is we're going to do like full like battle size scenarios. Uh, for most of the major battles in the war. Or you can do a campaign where I shit you not, <coughs> the first mission of the campaign has you basically fighting a Confederate mech. Ex what? The Confederates show up with an armored train <laughs> at the start of the war, and Excuse? it's like you gotta beat this armored train. Are you bad enough to, to defeat Yeah, the it's, it's nuts. <laughs> it is... <laughs> like it is so bad. Uh, uh, I'm still angry about it. It's it's like boss no, fight. that's epic. No, that's epic. Actually, is is what is what we're hearing here from chat. Yeah, yeah. Can you suplex the train? It's a very important question. No, you don't. People are asking, do you get a union mech? No, you don't. What you have to do is basically just like set up a kill zone of regular like boring ass historical artillery. And just shoot the like Confederate super train to death. Um, it is absolutely absurd. Uh, you might want to yep. before you start this campaign. You might want to yeah. swap the resolution. Resolution. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I made All it right. smaller. Okay. That, well, that made it. Different. Yeah, yeah. It's the correct one, right? We're all good here, right? Yes, the other yeah. one actually filled my screen before, but this one for some reason did not. That's why I was confused. I'll just zoom in here. Hold on. I'm just fucking with stuff now. Kyle loves when I fuck with stuff. He, you know, he <laughs> pretends he doesn't, <laughs> but I know he does. God damn it. Okay. All right, we good? I think so. Um, I'm going to turn that music down. You hear music? Do you not hear music? I don't hear anything. You don't hear anything. Nothing at all. But you heard the other game. You heard battle noises and shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, this this is my fault. This is my fault. Yeah, you I hear for, it. All I right. forget. I forgot that. Until I bring. Oh it my back. god. Okay. Okay. People. People are demanding to see Confederate Doom Train. Yeah. 
Obviously, you can't tell the people there's a mech in a Civil War game and then not fucking show them the fucking mech. <laughs> Come on. God there damn it. it. Okay. Now I hear it. All right. I'm going to... Okay. <laughs> You've always dreamed of becoming a mill... What? Oh, that... Yeah, we're going to do... We're... government cannot endure prominently. Half slave and half free. Who is this supposed to be? I rise, Mr. President, for the purpose of announcing to the Senate <laughs> that I have satisfactory evidence that the state of Mississippi, by a solemn ordinance of her people in convention assembled, what? I believe from the United States. That was Abraham Lincoln, not the one announcing this Mississippi was seceding, but the other one. Nah. Uh, yeah, it was like animatronic Abe. All right, so for the campaign thing, you choose a backstory. You've uh -huh. always dreamed of becoming a military officer like your father. You feel it is your destiny to serve your nation, earning glory with honor on the battlefield. Beep. What did you do at West Point? Were you a tactician? Were you a strategist? <laughs> or a logistician? All right, everyone gets admiration organization plus one, but we got reconnaissance, training, and logistics. Training is like, I it's assume, campaign this, mode. This whole part of the game is a little shaky. Yeah. What is it? Wait, like, can you mouse over it, actually? Yeah. This is all metagame stuff. Uh. So, uh Training allows you to punish units loss. Okay, that's that's good for a lower cost. What's recon do? Logistics. Things that can happen during battle and running out of ammo. Logistics avoids this by increasing starting ammo of all units. They're out for longer, sure. Well, sense helps you know your enemy. Okay, what? Yep. That's, <laughs> no, that's what it is. It's as vague as shit. So we're doing tactician. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> what did we do in the Mexican-American War? Oh, what does medicine do? That feels like it's going to be good. <laughs> Finding new recruits is not always easy. The ability to replace your losses is a valuable skill. Medicine increases the amount of casualties that get uh, healed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no. Huh. I mean, or we go all in on we're reconnaissance. All in on. We really want to know this. You enemy. know, I'm all about luck. Yeah. <laughs> What's this do? What does this don't, do? Don't That'll... care. Must be something good. I love to be lucky. Recon, recon, recon. Well, you know, we really want recon. Yeah. We're cavalry. Oh yeah. No yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. Further career. Business, army, politics. None of these give you recon, so it's good that we did recon first. Yeah. <laughs> See now you're now you're getting it. Uh increases the level of economy reduces the cost of purchasing new weapons. The skill keeps your army well equipped. Sure. Uh what's politics do? Politics increases the amount of Sorry, the text is very small on my end for some yeah. reason. The amount of recruits and money received during the war. Being good at politics will certainly favor your army in the long term. Huh. So that's like campaign wide. We're not, yeah. not going to do a whole campaign, so it's just... Uh... Money. <laughs> money. <laughs> Get that money. Get that money. Oh no, who are we going to be? Well, I think the... I think only the Union fights the battle mech. Yeah, we have to fight the battle mech. Was this ultimate? Ultimate? No. You know, we're just going to do baby mode. Which game was this called? Ultimate, ultimate General. General Civil War. Civil War. We gotta get to that railroad station. Hope oh, there's nothing weird defending it. Surely, just regular troops. 
According to our scouts. See? The scouts. Reconnaissance. Yeah. Important. Only 3,000 troops. That seems easy. Yeah. Vanguard to clear the town's perimeter from skirmishers or other threats. The rest of your forces are en route from the southwest. Assault the town while all your forces are present. Okay. Now, my suspicion is there's going to be some rebels. Hey, what does that say? On them hills. What? That is, Gen that is General Rob slash Kata. <laughs> I didn't see you put that in. I missed that. Whoops. I touched my mouse. Sorry about that. No worries. No worries. Okay. So this control is essentially... This is essentially the... The, the same idea control-wise. Little different UI here. Your general what? presents valuable what? <laughs> Where's that shooting from? Uh, up, up on the ridge, up on the ridge. Oh no! Yeah, get those. Oh uh, no, they're just getting those forest guys. Oh, are they no. going towards them? You need to withdraw, not withdraw, but fall back. Oh, oh, oh they're there. Melting down. There we go. All right, you shoot them. You shoot them. Okay, but they're in the woods. See, it's fine. Nice. Stop Jim trying to walk Rod down the Rod fucking Rod gulch. <laughs> stop murdering. Stop walking down murder gulch. Uh, do you want to move those forest guys up on the left? Oh, can you? Okay. Yeah, I can. Because they're not engaged, right? They're just being shot on? Yeah. Why is that? What guns have you guys got? They seem very short range. <laughs> yeah, they're carrying carbines, so usually those are smaller rifles. Oh, you can take them out. You can take them out. Oh. Uh oh Artillery in the fucking town? Yeah. I hope it's artillery and not a battle train. <laughs> no, the, you'll you know when the battle train shows up. <laughs> what, are you, what, what, what on earth is a battle train? Oh my god. What? Your enforcers have arrived. Head to the town. Wait, is that it? No, we'll, we'll, we got more guys. Okay, okay. I was going to say, that's the reinforcements we've been waiting on. Okay, there we go. There we go. Here they come. Something bad's going on over here. Oh, wait. Watch to the left there, though. Uh. It just seems like a bunch of random little, little people. Yeah, this but they're. Time. Let's see. Is there a charge command here? I saw one in the last game. I think. Yeah. There you yeah. Go. There we go. Yeah. Get their asses. Come on. 
Nah, yeah, they're they're running too fast. However, I think they I think they can take an observation point. Is that it? They give like extra sight. Yeah. Oh, nice. How are we doing? Ah, there we go. Moved him along. <laughs> guys, you guys gotta like actually stay within carbine range. Yeah, Jesus they don't like, in like, if they move out of engagement, they just let them go. That seems to be the play. All right, so. This is the part I hate. Mm. I think I have to cross these two bridges. Gross. Yeah. Is the town clear now? It looks like no. it, yeah. Now this this part of the town before the bridges. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So your units can't like cross the river. Take a little swim. Or they could, so. and it would be a bad idea. I think there's like marked fords. Like I think you can get across there. I'm just not sure I can get across here. Hmm. Nah, no, it won't let me. Got to do it that way. Whatever could this artillery be coming from? The answer may surprise you. <laughs> Mechs in my Civil War game? More likely than you think. Oh my god, can Yeah, you it keeps please? happening. It keeps happening. Thing, like no shoot them god damn it what's their cover level that they're in zoo yeah, they're pretty good cover zook They're not close enough to attack. At this point, can you just like leave them alone? Like, are they far away enough from the main stuff that we could just have them fall back? Yeah, yeah, I can. I could definitely stop obsessing over this. Because <laughs> it feels like we're gonna need to. And personally, I can stop obsessing about it anytime I want to. Oh, did you I see that to the like north? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, I did not. Hold on. What, uh, what should oh, I be up checking Up there. Out? I don't know. Oh, what those is that? Oh, those are those dudes we broke. Those those dudes we chased off. Okay, okay. They're not a threat, really. I thought they were someone getting on your flank, basically. Where is the, uh, artillery firing? Oh. Right now, uh, they're trying to fire at uh, these guys, but they're not—they're not doing the best job in the world. Oh, they're starting to whittle them down. You know what? 
Give him the bayonet. <laughs> yeah, now we okay. go. Now, <laughs> now you're in the corner of the map. You can't yeah. escape. <laughs> Nowhere to fucking go. Oh shit. How's that going for us? Morale's pretty good. Condition, go. not great. Nope. Shit. Yeah, we, we routed them. Nice. Can you fire from that tree line up here? Well, sorry. Uh, this, which tree line? Like, can you set up here to get to this? Yeah, or? but... Is the cover not These guys it? were, you were doing that earlier and like, it's just a very slow, nah, it's kind of working. You little shits. I thought we, I thought we rounded them. Yeah, they, they, eh, fuck it. They rallied fast. Damn, okay. What can I say? Condition, not good. Not good here. Hey, wait, where's my little, you, where's my little hardies? Your horses? Oh, yeah, we get to the right. they backed off. Yeah, they ran away. Like goddamn cowards. Well, the morale seems pretty, oh, not too low. Well. Oh, they're out of ammo. You know what, boys? We, may, we moved them along, who gives a shit? Yeah, just go. Just take the dub. Exhausted. Oh no. Fuck it. We're gonna have to charge them too. Down the choke point? Look, sometimes you gotta storm a bridge. Here, I will. We'll go inspire them. Yeah, good. Okay, great. Hey, boys, we'd love to see it. <laughs> wow, winning much? Oh my god, it's working. What the fuck? Our guys love it when friendly artillery is fired into them. Jesus. They live for that. Jesus. <laughs> hey, we broke hey. him. Hey. Flanked. Oh, they reformed into a line. Nice. I feel like these guys are reforming really fast. They must be well trained. This is the thing I kind of hate about this. This whole campaign is kind of like this. <laughs> it's like ridiculous cheese shit like this. Yeah, but they're not uh, important at this point. Are those people coming all the way back? Are our, our people? I mean, they're walking back. They're, you know, they're they're making progress. Oh, hey. Is that the supply truck? Yeah. A little wagon supply. Yeah, they need to. So these, uh, what are these rocks or shields or something? Oh, that's just like breastworks. Like the idea is they're dug in. Is that, is that a thing that happened in the Civil War? Oh yeah, guys dug in all the time. I can't even tell what that, what that is. Like stone walls? 
wood? No, it looks to me like um. Oh, kind of like uh. Like, like baskets like... filled with dirt. Oh, okay. I was thinking more like it kind of looked like wood and. Oh. Uh... The masculine urge to dig in. <laughs> You know, sometimes you just need to uh, charge a brick. <laughs> I was just gonna say. <laughs> uh, engaging, so you can't explain. Oh, oh gosh, I'm sorry, fellas. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. How dare you. <laughs> oh no. We have to get, yeah, we have to get over there and give them morale. Oh, these fuckers came back. They're coming in from behind the bridge. Yep. <laughs> no! Oh shit. And our supply wagon will be cut off. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Are the artillery even doing anything right now? Do they still have angles on this? Can't tell. Oh my god. What fucking horse shit. <laughs> Okay, but you routed them up there. That seems fine. You're exhausted again. They're that su that supply. Yeah, that, and that's the snare is not going to be winnable without that thing. But yeah, this is this is how this campaign works. Uh, there's a ton of like this like whack-a-mole structure, and like here's the weird thing: the battles are not like that at all. Um, the battle like scenarios a... are very different. Huh. Did those break at the at the south there? Is that what happened? What the fuck? They're trying to take, re you know, control of the bridges is very important. Yeah, just sneak by. Just sneak by. They don't even know. <laughs> nope, they know. No, they, they know. know, they know, they know! <laughs> Hold on, Rebels prepare counter for counterattack. All right, are you ready? The town is secured? It's secured, don't the worry about it. The town is secured? Did you, did you not see the part where we secured it? <laughs> the we secured town it. is... <laughs> we nailed it. <laughs> we prepared some entrenchments to stop the assault. Good, good, good. Yeah, that Great. works. Okay, absolutely. Multiple enemy regiments, got it. Okay, we need to move those cannons up. See, this is when the when the war train shows up, you know, that's bad. Oh. Great. Oh good. It just kind of resets. <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? We're going to attach some skirmishers here. Nature skirmishers trees. are good for annoying the shit out of people. Okay. You can take those. Okay. Was that? It looked like you were splitting those up. 
but that's just like they were stacked on top of each other no they detach oh okay so like this is part of them which is a pretty clever way of doing that uh What? What's going on there? Hey, friends. Y'all you okay? Yeah, see? It's gonna be fine. Why are they running? Okay, Loomis, you got... Because it's a charge, Kato. <laughs> okay. Those dudes are already exhausted. What did you do? What did you even do? They ran out here. Oh, wait. They are kind of in. Are they just an auto charge mode? What the f fuck? Are they charging? Oh, Loomis, you gotta. Uh, those people are being charged. That, is that a. That's a charge. Well, yeah, but it's like 150 dudes. Don't. Okay. Okay, well... but they're in your rear flank, Rob. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Look, I was feeling good about it, and then I'm not feeling good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Things have stabilized. Can the skirmishers not take that rear flank now? At the back of the north. Uh, they're just being huge cowards. Oh, great. But their morale is good. What's going on? Hey, why is our commander, like, not being brave? Hold on. Stop that. Stop that. Stop. Stop. <laughs> oh, no. Why are they keep trying to charge guys who are, like, two miles away? Forces are coming in. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Well, hmm. So there's detachments, huh? Hold on. <laughs> this might not be going that badly. They're feeling it's starting <laughs> route. Loomis's guys are starting. Okay, well, Scales has now been driven off. Uh, They're about to flank. Supply wagon needs to peace out <laughs> again. The out. There it is. Oh look, there we go. Dry land, Merrimack. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Unparalleled realism. <laughs> Look at the model. Look at the model. It looks like a fucking dining car or something. <laughs> what is happening? Train mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the death train is somehow <laughs> better than I hoped and also worse. They're just pushing. The engine is just pushing a fucking steel box with cannons yes. sticking out of it. I feel like you oversold the mech part of this. It is a mechanized In my memory, the infantry. Train was a little more imposing. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just break the tracks? I feel like that would have been the call. Yeah. I would have done that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but remember, that the whole seems... point is to take the railroad line. So I guess right. you know, maybe not. We need those. Hey, this seems to have gone poorly. 
No, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, obviously, like... The campaign has these issues, you know? Uh-huh. Wait, what issues? Like... <laughs> scenarios being super gimmicky like this and then like kind of a thing where it's a more of a puzzle for you to solve like how am I supposed to get through this part of the scenario right hey dudes move up do some shit come on you know what maybe somebody else should use a different bridge <laughs> confederate secured philippi uh they should make the whole train out of the same stuff the armored car is made from. Yeah. Yeah, honestly. And then figure out a way to take it off the tracks. Perhaps with... With some... crowbars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, that's that. <laughs> I... However... Yeah. <laughs> However, I wanted to see I wanted to see the train kill you. <laughs> oh, Historical I, battle. Well, the problem was we were no longer in train zone. You know what yeah, I mean? It was more like train. it was going to be taking those bridges again. <laughs> uh, so they do Gettysburg again, but this time they sort of go back on the commitment to like doing brigade level stuff. Huh. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Bum bum bum. Alright, so familiar ground. That's the hill. This is the briefing. We know it. Yep, there's the farm. But look, they changed the map too, because this is a different scale. Yeah. Like now the farm like is actually much more detailed. Yeah. And there's more like space that you have to like control. Uh, and we're back down to the regimental scale. However, uh, what did it say? Gosh, this map's so pretty. Yeah. No, it looks great. This feels also like dire, diaromat, diro, hmm, like a diorama. I was trying to get yeah. to like dioramatic or something. I was but... kind of, yeah, I was, I was wondering where diro was gonna ending, <laughs> it was gonna end up, but I'm glad it was diorama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, well, damn, Kato really hates his art style. Not sure why it's so offensive, but. <laughs> All right. You have the controls. Oh, great. For the third time today, it's the same stuff basically, but like it's a little more of an RTS interface. The thing I can't remember, uh, and and chat like, f remind me, is there a way to give brigade level orders in this? Like have a brigade line up on the commander? All right, here they come. Because it's a lot of little regiments to be mov moving around. I will say that. Look at that. Huh. Do we expect them to cross up here again? I don't know. Part of me almost wants to move up to the... Like, what if y'all did this? Is that enough distance? Oh, wait, there's people there. No, this is what? exactly what you should be doing though. The skirmishing is working well. That whole unit is just kind of being drawn off into the wilderness. Ugh. 
this is gonna be bad in a second, but hopefully these people have fucked off by that point. Well, you already got one of them to fuck off. Yeah. And they're fucked off too. Sick. Hey, why can't I move these? There we go. Come back. How's down here going? This seems fine. They're it not does. moving, we're not moving. Oh, uh, so you see little shields? These. If you click one of your regiments, you can put them in those, yeah, the shields are like buildings, and they can like, do, like, basically have guys occupying buildings Wait. and like, along the railings, so yeah. Like, like... If you just right click on the shield, basically. Yeah, and now they're gonna move into that building. Interesting, okay. Okay, well this didn't go exactly as planned. Oh, oh. <gasps> but Reynolds is here. Hooray! <laughs> On Dramatic music. Answer. The Iron Brigade is here to teach the rebels a lesson. In the process of scaling up their Gettysburg map, they did create some impressive rivers uh, that were pretty much like stream beds. Yeah. Oh, what are y'all doing? They all okay? They're not okay. They're having a, a tough time up there. Are they just gonna keep running? How about y'all? I would. What? Why? Why? What is this? I don't understand why, where they're going, or why. Still holding here. This, this, these people I'm worried about though. But we still have like a height advantage on this very slight hill. So it feels like they're holding pretty well. I, w uh, I would love. Hmm? I would maybe have them start falling back. Because once they get up on those rocks, they'll be very hard to kill. But out in the field, that's so many guys. Yeah. How far away is Reynolds? They're almost here. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh. And it's just fled the farm. Oh my god, what? Okay, fine. Are y'all even attacking? Are you close enough to attack? You're not. There you go. Shit. Do we just. We, 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 we want to take this. Can we take this back? Uh, yeah, but they're not. They're not hot. They're not. Very I would good just right let now. them hang. Like have Cutler do it, you know? Yeah. Or Meredith, maybe. But I would say these guys. Wait, where is Cutler stuff? Are y'all okay? Oh, Cutler's now? coming from the east. Kato, forget about these guys. You're gonna, you're gonna flank. Yeah, these are the, these are the aces. Nope. On the, the shield, please. Thank you. <laughs> oh man, they're gonna kill Reynolds again. <laughs> Oh, Meredith is just not... They're just hanging out. What the fuck? Flanked? Is it because they're moving? So this is the weird thing, like... In some ways, this is really, like, intuitive and user-friendly. Yeah. In other ways, I find it, like, maddeningly imprecise compared to, like, Sid Meier's Gettysburg. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, like... 
the drawing lines thing is like neat, but it can be kind of hard because it doesn't give you like an end right. state. Now, so if you click and hold, so if you click a regiment and then hold it, yeah, and you can move it like a yeah. See now you can sort of tweak the facing like that. Right. I mean you can't, um, but you can't do that when giving the initial move order. Which no, feels like no, it doesn't seem like it. Easier to do. I'm also sort of astonished the way like friendlies can pour tr fire into like a melee with friendlies and enemies and like somehow not hit the friendly. Yeah, it's uh, fine. They're definitely not hitting the friendlies. <laughs> Is what we're gonna say. Still not. What's charge? What's the charge button? Is it C? Aww. <laughs> they keep running away. Why do they keep running away? You can lead horse cavalry into a suicidal charge, but you can't <laughs> actually make them do it. God damn it. Okay, well, they've, they've got their fucking heal, I guess. Or, we're not gonna give up this hill. <laughs> All right, I got a meeting anyway in a few minutes. This hill, uh, this hill so is ours. Okay, yeah. I think, yeah, I think we can leave it on the. They've got their fucking hill, I guess. <laughs> um, which I think is a good verdict on the Battle of Gettysburg. Yeah. Um, just spitefully being like, but you know what? Keep it. I don't even so give this, a shit. This, 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 this continues like, kind of like. Uh, Gettysburg does in that it then just jumps to a new scenario or are you playing out from yeah here? well it jumps to a different stage of the battle no. um but yeah the thing it doesn't do is they have like the scenarios isolated from each other the way Gettysburg does right um but also I don't think it has the like it's a little more I think it's a little more railroaded than in um Ultimate General Gettysburg, where like depending on how things go, things can take really like drastically different turns. Here it's more like it moves things to a different phase, new stuff happens, and uh you play like a different scenario within the overall It's a really weird thing. Um and and kinda grating. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you have to leave. Uh, well. Yeah. We should uh, wrap up then. So like, this is yeah. So this is kind of where like you can see the inspiration is definitely there. Um, and there's things I love about this series. I just yeah, it, it's like I struggle with this one a little bit. Um, I feel like with Ultimate General Gettysburg, it was a really cool idea, and I don't know that I love the evolutions they made here. You're right. Um, but like, it looks great. Yeah. Like, it's still it's still a lot of fun, and like, I'm rusty with it. I don't remember it as well as I should. Um, Honestly, so with a like, few, I, a few of those like changes there though of like. Yeah. Like, I, I wish I could do this, and then also be like, and they're looking, and they're gonna, right. like, the wheel thing. Which it kind of yes. does by letting you turn it a little bit when you're at the end, but it's not, yeah. it's, fid it's fiddly, it's fiddly. Instead of being... It's very fiddly. It's, yeah. and that's the thing, right? It feels like, in some ways, it's like, ah, we're gonna solve the fiddliness of Sid Meier's Gettysburg. But you actually just end up inventing a different fiddliness. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, like... There is no getting around the fact that this type of combat, where it's all about like building like continuous lines and little flanks, it is by its nature fiddly. Um, and so the question is like, how, how do you kind of manage that? Um, I would also say I think something that Sid Meier's Gettysburg has going for it is like when things look messy, that is kind of because they are, and like part of your job is to like try to sort of 
contain that chaos. Um, but also, as like you sort of discovered, it's so easy to have units get shredded when you're just trying to like tweak their position a little bit. Yeah. Um, and like the game kind of slaps your hand for trying to make those adjustments. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we should probably leave it here. Yeah, sorry, um, I'm getting... I'm just playing the game now. Sorry, I have to... Yeah. No, I'm, I'm thrilled. <laughs> uh, I do think... I do think I appreciate the uh, ability to do, like... Okay, we have, like, modern RTS right clicks and stuff like that that makes sense. But for something this yeah. big, I do think it need like... Gettysburg, Sid Meier's Gettysburg did a pretty damn good job for being so early, you know? Yeah, and that's and that's kind of... I, I kind of suspect that if they revisited it, they would still probably find a better way to present it than right. even this. And this yeah. looks great. Like, I love the way this game looks. I love the way it sounds. I think this series had some real promise. I wish they sort of kept the focus on one battle at a time and just, like, refined the scale a little bit. Um... But I, but I do think, like, if if you had Firaxis make a Gettysburg game today, I think you would still be like, well, shit, this is just, this just makes all kinds of sense. Even this doesn't. Right. Right. Um, right. But yeah, so uh, hopefully it gives you a little bit of context. I think that covers most of the bases that I'd want to cover since uh, since Gettysburg. I think the thing we probably didn't talk about is Total War. Uh, but I think we have that frame of reference, so we'll be able to discuss it a little bit. Uh, in terms of things that drew from Sid Meier's Gettysburg. Right. Well, um, Total, Total War do a Civil War one? No. So they came close when they made Fall of the Samurai, which is like this era. Uh-huh. Um, they made a really good, like, that is the best gunpowder uh, age Total War game, like bar none. Um, it is the best game they've made where guys are running around with guns and shit. Um, hmm. and so I think that was the one where they came closest to like nailing this type of warfare. Um, but you know, they haven't really gone back to that type of era. Right. Um, and you know, you have total, you have t Warhammer factions that use guns, but one, it's not the same. And two, my beef with the Warhammer thing is it is such a series driven by individual unit stats that like, I don't think the Total War Warhammer games make a lot of intuitive sense to me, mm. uh, because really, like, what matters is what's written on the unit card info, right? And less what you're seeing on the on the map, uh, which is which is frustrating. I think the Total War series in general has evolved more and more toward like armies meeting on basically a flat table uh, where they do some fighting with maybe some like light terrain features, but nothing like this where like, you know. The exact bend in a river or a small stand of trees can become the most like pivotal thing in the world. Right. I like that. And I think that's kind of key to this, to this era. Um, but well, we can discuss that a bit more when you record the podcast on it tomorrow. Um, that'll be our Waypoint Plus pod for this week. We're going to be, you know, taking a final look at uh, Sid Meier's Gettysburg with the, with the whole group. And uh, then we will... We'll call it a day on um, uh, Sid Meier's Gettysburg and move on to the next thing, which is... If, um, if y'all have any questions, thing. should oh, we yeah. send in questions? They could do that. Yeah, should, they should. should. They yeah, should send they in should. questions. Send in questions. Questions uh, at... Uh, no. Questions in the subject. Yes. <laughs> at, yeah. Uh, gaming at vice.com is the... Yep. Is the, is the email for that. Oh, look at that. That flank worked out. Yeah. That worked beautifully. See? Didn't yeah. work in the pick and charge scenario, but no. now you're really whooping them. <laughs> yeah, Kato's got him on the run now. Kato's on his way to Richmond. We're, <laughs> we're at the very least holding oh, this ridge. Hey. Oh, no. Oh, no. This not whole the thing, north. We don't need to worry about that. No. Kato, oh, we need to end the stream. Stop bye. playing the game. <laughs> okay, bye.